Look how pretty my dishcloth is becoming. I pushed all my bobbles out from the back. You just push them with your finger and then squish them. And it makes them pop out the way they're supposed to. So now my bobbles are looking nice. Pretty. Fancy dishcloth. We are making the Be My Valentine dishcloth to crochet by Lily Sugar and Cream. Free pattern on the Yarn Inspirations website, www.yarnspirations.com. It's a very pretty dishcloth. We've made a lot of progress so far. We did round one, two, three, four, and five. So now we're ready for round six, and it says to use color D. So actually we finished the, we're just now finishing round five, and it says to join D with a slip, stu slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So I always like to go under two loops. I don't know if it's right, but that's what I do. Pull it through there. Pull it through there. And I think I will go ahead and tie my ends together again. It just makes it a little bit more secure. Tie my white end to my blue end and pull it snug. I can untie it later when I'm weaving in my ends. So now I've got the A Crew, soft A Crew. For me, I'm using the Burnett Handicrafter Cotton Candy Collection in the color of white chocolate. I think I got this at AC Moore. Alright, so now I'm working round six. With D, chain three. One, two, three. Now, one double crochet in each of the next three. And before I do this, I'm going to look at my chart. See how this is going to line up. Because I should do one double crochet in each of the next three and two double crochets in the next double crochet. So we just keep doing that over and over. I want to see where those two double crochets are going to be lined up. So I'm going to look at my chart. We're doing round six now, and we did one, two, three, four, and five, and now we're on round six. And our two double crochets are supposed to hook in at the top of the double crochets we worked earlier in the left leg of that double crochet. So here's the bobble that we worked, and then we did a double crochet, two double crochets on top of that bobble. Now we're going to do two double crochets on top of the left of those two double crochets. So one, two, three, and then do two double crochets in that left leg of the double crochet, two double crochets we worked before. So that helps me understand where I'm headed. So when I do this, I'm going to do one, two, one, two, three, yeah, and then I'll be on the left leg of those two. You see those two double crochets there? That's where I need to do two, right there on top of that. <sighs> so I'm glad it worked out. I love it when that happens. I'm easily entertained, aren't I? <laughs> People tell me that all the time. They say, Sandy, you're so easily entertained. But it's true, I'm a simple person. There's that. Now we do two in the left leg of those two double crochets we worked before. So now we know we've got it right. Yeah. Nice. So it says that we repeat that over and over again. One double crochet. Ah, no we don't. We come to the asterisk now. So now at the asterisk it says one double crochet in each of the next four. And then two double crochets in the next. Ah. I keep forgetting that this little chain here counts as a, du as a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, and then two. So the same thing. One, two, three, four, and then we do two in the left of that. V. So really all you have to do is just work single, I mean, 
a single double crochet. <laughs> it's hard to say. One double crochet instead of a single double crochet. We work one double crochet until we come to the left of that set of two. Then we'll do two there. That makes it easy. But I don't mind counting. There's one. Wow, this color really does look like white chocolate, doesn't it? Yum! Makes me hungry. <laughs> I want some white chocolate and almonds. That would be so good. White chocolate covered almonds. Doesn't that sound yummy? Man, I'm hungry. I shouldn't be. I just had my dinner. I had leftover chicken and leftover... Um, potato wedges and a bowl of cereal so I had carbs and carbs <laughs> and a little bit of meat <sighs> I'm starting a new diet now I know diet's a bad word but I am I'm going to try to lose some weight we'll see we'll see I've tried a bunch of different times with a bunch of different plans and nothing's ever worked for me. So, time to try a new one. Uh oh, had a wreck. Did I do that right? I think I did. The yarn started getting snug and that's what messed me up. So I need to pull it out. Get it going again. There. <clears throat> no more talk about dieting makes me sad. <laughs> makes me mess up. Makes me make mistakes. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm going to Charleston tomorrow taking a trip. So I'm excited about that. I've only been to Charleston once in my life. So it'll be nice to go see it again. There we go. I like how this is working. So you can see how it lines up. How you do one, two, three, four different um, double crochets and then you do two off to the left of the two that you worked before. So you can continue working your sixth round, and I'll keep working mine, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.